What's going on Game Changing Gamers? Welcome back to another episode of PlayStation Plus 2015. And this is the month of July, and this time we have honestly one of my favorite PlayStation Plus games so far, and it's called Rocket League. Now what you're seeing right now is me in the garage, and this part of the game is basically your customization. So you can change what type of vehicle have, you have like decals and stuff, like I think I chose flames. And actually I just got a trophy. If you want trophies, this is the game to get. Like I had five or six trophies within the first like less than five minutes of me even playing this game. So there's that. Uh, you can change all these colors and stuff. And of course we put the flag on. We put the good old American flag on because we from the United States baby. Let's go. So the next thing I did was I hopped into a game. But for some reason I got this game the day it came out and the servers were actually offline. I guess because so many people were online trying to play it. But you can play 3v3 online against other people or 1v1 which is going to be crazy. I can't wait to do that. Or you can also play offline like I did which was also fun. And yes I did play this game on Rookie. But before you go calling me a noob I've never played this game before and there's a tutorial which I probably should have done but who the heck has time for that anyways. Now one of the main reasons I like this game is that it's so different from any other games that are out right now. It's like a cross between FIFA and some kind of fast paced racing game and that's one of the main reasons I like it because there's tons of action you can slam into enemies you can slam into the ball you score goals rapid fire it's not kind of slow paced like a FIFA game or even like some, most of the racing games are pretty slow paced today. Which leads me to my next point and that is, is it just me or does it seem like with the new consoles there's not much variety with like the racing games. Like uh, we have Drive Club and we have Project Cars and to me it seems like all these games are more of simulators where you drive like super fast cars like sports cars and it's all about winning the race and being super realistic and making the graphics look awesome. Which is great, like, I think that's awesome. There should definitely be games like that. But I miss, uh, like in the PlayStation 2 days, there'd be like Jack and Daxter racing, and uh, you know, like good old Crash Bandicoot racing, where you could shoot stuff at other people. And even on the PlayStation 3, I'm thinking of games like MotorStorm, uh, where you can boost, you can boost really fast, and you can ram enemies. And even like the maps, where just you would drive through the forest, or you'd drive through like volcanoes and stuff. And I can't think of anything like that nowadays. It's more like just uh, racetracks and just like mainly racetracks or like driving through cities. There's nothing, there's not much variety. And another game on PS3 I'm thinking of is like Split Second and when you would like draft or like drift and stuff like that, you would get points and you could like trigger events on the map and it would just wreck other drivers. Uh, maybe that's just me, I like the arcade style racers. But in the new racers, it seems like it's just all about racing and graphics and new cars. Where I kind of miss where you could like wreck the other opponents or you could cause like destruction in the map. Like I thought that kind of stuff was awesome. I think we need to see some more variety. And I know this game's smaller. It's it's only like a like a smaller download. But to me, I really like it because it's different. It adds soccer and it adds racing and it strays away from what seems like all the racing games are trying to do today. Now with that being said, the last thing I noticed is that you actually rank up from completing matches and doing well, and this is where you actually unlock certain things for your garage, like new cars, uh, new custom paint jobs, new tires, and all that good stuff. So I'm excited to get to the highest level I possibly can and unlock all that cool stuff. And with that being said, I think that's all I have for this game. Go download it, go check it out, it's awesome. Uh, absolutely destroy that like button let's try and get 10 likes that would be awesome uh, I'll leave a link to my last video which is an exo zombies challenge in Call of Duty it'll be at the end of this vid make sure to check that out subscribe comment and do all that cool stuff I'll see you in the next one